Today in our 2016 Ford Edge, we're going to be taking a look at, then we're going to show you how to install the Draw Tight Custom Fit Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver. This offers the 2 inch by 2 inch opening. Its part number is 75214. Now this is what our hitch is going to look like installed on the vehicle. You'll see that rounded cross tube goes all the way across back here at the rear. It's going to give us our 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. Now this is a class 3 rated hitch so you've got a lot of accessories to choose from. Ball mounts, cargo carriers, bike racks. There's a bunch of them out there. Just want to be sure it's class 3. See our safety chain connection points here. It's of a plate style. Nice large opening there so we should be able to get any style of safety chain connected that we might want to. For securing our items, you'll notice that we've got two holes here. We're going to use the one closest to the front of the vehicle. That's 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. And there's going to be plenty of room for whichever one you might choose, whether it's just a pin and clip, maybe a locking hitch pin, or even anti-rail device. Now, one option of anti-rail device is the J-pin stabilization system. That's the only time you're going to use the hole here closer to the rear of the vehicle. We do have an attachment point for our wiring. You'll see that right here. That will allow you to attach a seven pole or maybe a four pole bracket there with the three pre-drilled holes. That's something I kind of like about the hitch. Now the hitch itself is going to offer us a 600 pound tongue weight capacity. That's the maximum downward force that we can put here at the receiver tube opening. And it gives us a 4,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. That's the total weight of our trailer and then anything that we might load up on it. It is rated for weight distribution, so using spring bars or torsion bars, something like that is perfectly acceptable, but your weight ratings are going to stay the same at 600 pounds of tongue weight and 4,000 pounds of gross trailer weight. Now you will want to look into the owner's manual on the edge, you want to see what it's rated for, and then just go off of whichever of those numbers are the lowest. Now a couple measurements that are going to be helpful when it comes to selecting your ball mount, bike rack, or hitch cargo carrier will be from the ground to the inside top edge of a receiver tube opening, we've got about 12 and a half inches. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's about four and three quarter. Now to begin our installation, we need to remove the appearance panels that are here in the rear on both corners of the vehicle. We'll be taking these two screws out. These use a 5.5 millimeter socket. And we'll also take off the two nuts that are located on the frame rail. Got one there and one there. For these, we'll need a 10 millimeter socket. Now we'll just pull down on that panel and then just kind of work it out of that pocket. Now, at the end of the install, we can choose to trim these up a little bit and put them back in place. If you don't want to do that, you just tuck them away in case you ever take your hitch off, you can put them back up. Now we'll repeat the same process here on the passenger side. Now our next step is going to be to lower down our exhaust. We're going to place a support strap underneath it before we separate the isolators just to give it something to rest on. And we'll remove the hanger located right here and the one in the exact same spot on the other side. All right, that's going to give us room to get our hitch up into position. Now we'll be using two attachment points on the each side. It's in the exact same location. We've got one right here and one right here that we're going to be bringing a carriage bolt through. Now we'll just check, we're going to be using this as our access hole and you'll see our carriage bolt just really doesn't want to fit through there. So now we can use a file and kind of open that hole up a little bit or you can also use a screwdriver or a pry bar and just kind of pry the edge to where one side kind of dents in and the other side expands out a little bit. Now by Kind of shaping that hole like that, it just doesn't quite give us enough room. So we are going to use our file. In this case, we're going to use a just a kind of like a die grinder, and we'll open that up to allow that to pass through. That's what we're looking for. And we'll go do the exact same thing for our driver's side there.
Now to get our hardware in place, we'll take one of our pull wires. We're gonna start with the rear attachment point here. We wanna push it up towards our access hole. Want that to come out. Then onto that, we're gonna add a spacer block. We'll thread on one of our carriage bolts. Now we wanna slide our spacer block in. Also our carriage bolt, you may wanna feed it in with the head first there. We're gonna bring it on back so it'll come out of our attachment point. And then we wanna allow it to rest back inside the frame. We'll do the same thing for the forward most location there. Now let's go repeat that same process for our driver's side. Now with an extra set of hands, we're ready to raise our hitch into position. We wanna bring our pull wires through the attachment points you can see here. And then we'll guide it up and in. Now once we have those holes aligned, we'll be able to pull our hardware through. And then we can just allow our hitch to rest down on there. Now we can place one of our conical tooth washers on that pull wire. We want the teeth of the washer to face in towards our hitch. And then if you push on that washer, it's gonna hold your bolt in location. We'll remove our pull wire, and we're gonna thread on a hex nut. Now we can go do that for the three remaining locations. Now we can grab our 19 millimeter or three quarter inch socket. We're gonna get those snug down. All right, with those snug down, let's look at our instructions. There we'll have our torque specifications. We're gonna go around and torque all of our hardware down appropriately. Now, if you are gonna be trimming your side appearance panels, we'll show you how to do that now. You see you've got the large hole. We wanna to go to the side that has the indention there. We're gonna come in from that edge two inches and make a couple marks there. Then from the top edge down, we wanna go six inches. And we'll mark that out. Now let's get a straight edge and connect those lines. Like that. And then we'll just connect that corner there. And we're gonna re be removing this inside portion. Now to do that, you can use a razor knife, or in our case, we're just gonna use a cutoff wheel here. Just clean up that edge, look at, make it look nice. Now, it is gonna be underneath the car, so you might not be too worried about it. Now we'll reattach it with the fasteners we removed earlier. Of course, we're not gonna use one of the nuts because we cut off its attachment. Slide it up into position there. Now we'll get our exhaust rays back up into position here. You'll want to re-lubricate those isolators. And then just slip them on. All right. Those in place, we'll take down our safety strap and our hitch is going to be ready for use. And that's going to complete our installation of the DrawTight Custom Fit Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number 75214 on our 2016 Ford Edge. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.